Hey, the race to Santa Clarita is on. What's up? It's the Culture Detective here, investigating your favorite albums. Right now, it is October 29th, but when you're watching this, it's probably October 30th. This is pre-recorded and pre-uploaded. Why? Because tomorrow, I'll be um, working on a feature film for the first time in my life. <laughs> Another un achievement unlocked. Yes, yes. Um, so that's exciting. But um, anyways, um, I'll just do a quick, very fast, lightning-paced EP review on the new Paranol and Asian Glow EP, Paraglow. So uh, yeah, um, if you've been following this channel for the last couple of years, you've probably heard me talking about Paranol and Asian Glow a couple of times already. Of course, Paranol's uh, solo material to see the dream on the other side uh, became my most viewed album review on this channel, which basically brought me into this world of Korean dream pop, shoegazy, emo punk, screamo post-hardcore scene. And then of course, uh, Paranol, Asian Glow, and Sonyo Stomam Conta came together with Downfall of the Neon Youth, which is in my opinion an even better album last year. And then this year we have album after album after album from these three artists, uh, Paranol's side ambient project, we have Asian Glow's stalled flute means, uh, Sonia Stomam Conta also released an EP and a studio album alongside, um, and uh, Asian Glow and Weather Day of all people came out with an EP, not of all people, you know, you could sort of predict that they're going to collab at some point, but I still didn't see it coming. And it's awesome, Weather Glow is easily one of the better EPs released this year, and uh, of course, Asian Glow is coming out with more music, uh, this time with Paranol's uh, pa Paraglow. And a little bit later, in next month, we're going to have a Dream Glow between Asian Glow and Sonia Stomam Gonta. So anyways, um, Paranol and Asian Glow, both are Korean artists, um, both doing a similar genre of music, uh, coming together with an EP of only four tracks. So uh, the first track, Hand, is uh, awesome. It's a passionate rock song that mixes the best of both worlds. The explosive guitars and emotional vocals by Asian Glow and the pretty electronic embellishments and beautiful pianos provided by Paranol coming together to form one amazing song. And it is catchy. And one thing I like about this collaboration is that they can completely sing in Korean. This album is in, this EP is in Korean. When they did Downfall of the Neon Youth, a lot of the lyrics are in English um, because of Sonia Stomam Konta's involvement, but here we're full on Korean. And I really like, I really like it when um, artists sing in their own language. I know if you're English speaking, you may be wondering, well, of course an artist sings in their own language, but trust me, there's so many Hong Kong artists out there who never sings in Cantonese because English is more marketable and fits better with the genre, but that's not really true. Anyways, the second track, The Light Side of the Eyes is another really great follow-up. We have these small bursts of guitars and these really tortured screams sort of alternating against one another. Uh, there's a real energy, a real pacing going, and I really like that. The third track, Swamp, is probably the sleepiest track on the EP. Uh, the shoegazy guitars and the quite clear pianos sort of go up and down and they sort of clash with each other a little bit. And then we have the album, uh, the EP ending, Wheel, which is 15 minutes and 29 seconds long. It is an epic Korean emo dream punk monster with layers of guitars and keyboards and vocals splattering in your eardrums all at once. And this track is multifaceted, all right. The rhythm changes a few times throughout the runtime of the track. And after the halfway point, the track borders on screamo. Actually, it doesn't even border. It is straight up screamo and, and post hardcore. And then that is followed with these really angular, sharp guitars that feel like they came out of a horror film. And then at the very end, we are hit with these xylophones and these gentle oh, 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 bits of vocals at the end. And it's a really amazing track. Like, I know Asian Glow and Paranormal's music are really bold and creative when they collaborated last year with Downfall, but I don't think they have reached such a creative peak together until this EP came out. So um, I'm thoroughly impressed with this EP. 
I love Weather Glow, but honestly, Paraglow knocked Weather Glow out of the park. I think this EP is probably the best EP I've heard this year, uh, or at least one of the better ones. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling a strong, strong, strong 8 on this EP. Um, maybe even to a light 9. I'll keep it at a strong 8 for now. So, have you listened to the new Paranol and Asian Glow EP, Paraglow? Comments below, let me know. Subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching.